Amanda. Hi. Hey, I'm John, your energy expert. Nice to meet you. You ready to get your home in the green zone? Sure. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Come on. All right, so let's take a look. Here's your TV center here. Okay. You got your cables running back here. I did. You could yeah. plug in a smart strip like this. There's two things for you. One, it's to protect all your equipment from a surge in case mm -hmm. you get hit by lightning. But most importantly, it's a smart strip. So when you plug okay. this equipment in and it powers it off, it actually powers it off. This will oh, save nice. you about $40 a year. So Amanda, earlier you were telling me you're kind of a do-it-yourselfer kind of gal. So I Absolutely. noticed you went ahead and filmed your window right here. Tell me why you went ahead and did that. So basically, when I sit here on the couch okay. and I watch TV, the sun comes through the window. You can actually go down to your local hardware store, buy a film like this, which is a low immensity film. It keeps the sunlight out, and you could put this type of film through the whole house. Instead of just keeping the sunlight out, it'll also lower your energy consumption in the house by about 20%. So I understand you work from home, and this little nook is your workspace. I also noticed that this nook is a little bit warmer than it is in the rest of your house. It is. So what a great spot to either in your kitchen here or in your living room, put an air multiplier. So what it does is it circulates some of the cooler air from that area, blows it up in your nook, and keeps you cooler while you're working. That would be wonderful. So I noticed your seal has come loose from the bottom of the door right here. It's actually kind of tore up. Pretty easy fix. You can actually go down to your local hardware store, buy a new seal. This actually slips off the bottom of the door like so. For less than $20, slip a new one back on and keep your draft out of the house. So Amanda, I hope you can take some of these energy tips from today, put them to good use, and keep your home in the green zone. Thank you. All right, girl. Thank See you, you so next much. time. All Have right. a great day. Hey Randy, I'm John, your energy expert. You ready to get your home in the green zone? Sure, come in. Okay, let's do it. So we're in your kitchen now, and I can tell some of the heat, radiant heat coming off the back of the house. This room's a little bit warmer than the rest of your house. Yeah, this room is definitely the hardest to cool. Great idea for you. I'd get an air multiplier, put it here towards the hallway, draw some of that cool air from your living room, bring it in your kitchen, keep your kitchen a lot cooler. Let's talk about your fridge for a sec. I notice you're like most people, you keep your refrigerator at the recommended setting, 38. It says freezer at zero. So I would crank this on up to the max setting and your max is gonna be six degrees. That's gonna save you around 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 bucks is 50 bucks. Right. All right, let's head on upstairs. Let's see good. what else we can do. We're in the top floor right now and we got three levels. Right. You got your hot water heater on the first level, we're in your top level. My question is, how long does it take for you to get hot water up here? About a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. Wow, almost two minutes. A lot of water. This is what you need. This is a recirculating pump. Call any plumber in town, they'll put a recirculating pump on here. It keeps hot water in your line, so you have instant hot water. This is gonna save you about 15,000 gallons a year. So we're down here at your front door, and I'm looking at your front door, and I can see you got a pretty good gap running up along the side, pretty good gap running along here. Man, this is an easy fix. Local hardware store, about 30 bucks, about 15 minutes of your time. Seal that up, seal that up. No more draft. So Randy, I hope you can take some of these energy tips, put them into place, get your home in the green zone, brother. I definitely will. See you next time. Take care. All right, bud. Melanie? Hi. Mark? Hey, John, your energy expert. Hey. You ready to get started? All nice right. Nice to meet you. Let's go. Mark, Melanie, what I've done is I've shoved a dollar bill down in between the frame of your window. As you see this dollar bill slide now, that's your energy going out of your home. So a couple quick fixes for you. One, you can put in new windows in your house, bio energy efficient windows, or you can put a seal package around every single window and seal these windows up to keep your energy in the house. Behind all your plate covers, you can remove the plate covers. You've got this hole right here. Down your typical hardware store, pick up these gaskets. They pop on like so. And you take these plate covers, pop them right back on so like so. And that seals it up. So John, this is my daughter's room. Okay. Um, 
since we're in the basement, this is the coldest room in the house. Well, I can definitely feel a difference being in this room. It definitely is a little colder. Well, here's a suggestion for you. Rather than trying to heat this room with your HVAC, I'd get a small space heater, put it right here in the room, and that right there will save you a bunch of energy just heating the room with a space heater. If you look at your hot water heater right here, it says, I power $235 a year to power. This little red notch is lined up with this little black notch. You've got it cranked up pretty hot, so you guys are obviously taking some hot showers in the house. So here's a way to cut down and conserve some energy. Wrap your hot water heater with an insulation wrap, and then all your exposed piping up here, go ahead and get it wrapped, and that'll help cut down your cost on your energy for your gas. Mark, Melanie, I hope you can take some of these energy tips today, put them into place, and get your home in the green zone. We will. Thank All you, right. John. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Hey, I'm John, your energy expert. Hi, John. I'm Amber. Hey, nice you ready to get your home in the green zone? I would love to. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to step across okay. the street right here. This right here is a flare camera. So we're going to take a peek at your house and see how much energy your home's losing here. Uh-oh. You see right here at the bottom of your house, we're at 43 degrees. And we go all the way to the top in your attic where all your heat's going right now, and we're at 57 degrees. Wow. That shows how much heat your house is pushing up in your attic, and then you're losing it. So we're going to get up in your attic and take a peek and see how we can save you some energy. Perfect. So we're going to talk about three different options okay. for your insulation. Option number one is we can take your blown-in insulation from an R30 and we can bring it to an R49. Option number two is we can put thermal reflective insulation, which is a radiant barrier, runs across your rafter tails. And option number three is install a product called Isening. It's a foam product that goes up inside here and that also will go across the rafter tails. This is my oldest daughter, Abby's room. Okay. And it's also the coldest room in the house. Well, let's see, we'll take a shot here, 59 degrees. And over here, we're at 59 degrees. The closet's really cold, and she doesn't like it to be dark in the room at night, so she wants to leave it open, but I can't because it's so cold in there. Wow, we're at 52 degrees on this thing. So you got one vent here that's pulling, and then you got your other vent down here that's pushing. And yes. insulating the attic will definitely lower your energy consumption in the house. That Hope would be great. This house a lot warmer for the girls. I'm going to show you the girls' playroom Okay. Down here. You'll notice when you come down, you can feel that it's already cooler I here see. than it is upstairs. Well, let's just take a temperature check. So 58 degrees and our upstairs is 66 degrees. Right. This would be a perfect spot to put a little space heater down here in the wintertime, warm the room up, and not have to run your heating and air to heat this room. Well, Amber, it's been fun. I hope you can take some of these tips today and put them into good use and keep your home in the green zone. Thank you. All right, girl. See you All next right, time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Kathleen, I'm John. Hey, John, pleasure to meet you. You ready to make your home energy efficient? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Looks like you got a lot of recessed lamps in here. I do. Looks like all your lamps in here look like they're all pretty much incandescent bulbs. If we just took this one room and we swapped out all the bulbs to compact fluorescents, it would save you $105 a year. So just changing the light bulb? In this one room would save you $105 a year. This door looks like a little bit of an older door. You can actually see daylight coming through the door there. This is a little handy dandy leak detector. Um, it works off of thermal energy. So we can cut it on and you can hit it up here in my arm like that and we'll see where it's got one color firing right here. And then as soon as we come across over here to the door, it's gonna change colors because what it does is it detects the leak coming through. You can put a door insulation kit on this thing, wrap it up, cut out that draft, and just make it more comfortable sitting here and watch your TV. So we already know that your home is 52 years old. Correct. Pretty normal with a 52 year old home, you have a lot of drafts. Here's a simple little fix. Go down to your local hardware store. You can buy a bag of these little outlet gaskets, about $25. You install the gasket like so. You install the plate cover back on like so. And no more draft. Let's head on up, see what we got. All right. Well, Kathleen, it's about like I suspected. You got a 52 year old house with 52 year old insulation. So there's a few things you can do. You can put a new thermal attic insulation up there. You can put some icing, or we can add a bunch of this up there. The first thing I notice about this room is there's no air ducts in here. 
So I know the only way you can heat this room is you actually have to open this door all the way up in the winter time, let that heat come in. This would be a perfect spot for a portable space here. Set one in the middle of the room, keep that door closed, warm your room up, it's nice and comfortable, and you're not having to worry about trying to heat this room so much. So I know we shared some cool tips with you today. Most people in America know exactly how much money they have in their checking account, but at the same time, most people in America have no idea where the energy they spend goes. So as of today, Kathleen, let's keep your home in the green zone. Thanks for having us out. Thank you. See you next time. All right. Hey, Delory, I'm John. Hey, Here John. for your house call. Nice to see you. You ready to make your home more energy efficient? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. So we have your fridge set at 39 degrees. 39 is about normal, the standard is 40. Um, we'll take a temp in here, it's 39 degrees, so that's good. Looks like you guys are eating good over here. Yes, we are. Let's take a peek at your freezer. Now, your freezer said it's at one degree. So, one way to save a little bit of energy, if we power this thing up to the max, and most refrigerators won't go below eight, so yours is six. So, the difference between powering it at one degree to six degrees is probably somewhere between 10 and maybe $60 a year in saving energy. Winter time, you want this thing open. Let's see if our flu is closed. Flu is open. So, should it be closed? Oh, yeah. We want to close the flu right now. In the summertime, you get a draft that's going to push down through it, and you're going to get a draft. In the wintertime, you get a draft. The only time you want it open is when that's powered. If you're not running it, your heat's coming right out of it. Let me ask you how often do you use the upstairs of your house now? I come up here to work on my computer, okay. and other than that, my girls have gone off to school, I don't need it. So when you're up here in the loft and maybe you're on your computer or if you're in one of the rooms watching TV, you use this probably when you're up here and this gives you a little heat and it also gives you some cool. That's going to save you a good bit of energy first powering the entire system for the upstairs. So Delora, let's talk about how you heat your water. Okay. Let's take a peek here. This particular tank is electric and it says I cost $420 a year and this tank says I cost $235 a year to power. You have your tanks at the recommended settings so they're powering right. If you could do this different, I'd probably go gas gas because obviously gas is a lot more cost effective than electricity. Right. But a lot of folks, what they do is they have them cranked all the way up. So keep your tanks at the recommended setting and save some energy. Deloria, we've given you some cool tips today to help you save some energy. As you know, the only way to save money is not to spend it, and the only way to save energy is not to use it. I believe we've got your home in the green zone. Great, John. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.